So I love showing people how to make healthy vegan food like this without using oil, wheat, refined sugar, and rice. Last week, I showed you how to make this delicious cherry barbecue sauce and this sweet and spicy mango buffalo sauce. And a lot of people wrote me and said, but what about those veggie wings? So today, I'm gonna to show you how to make your own. I'm gonna break these mushrooms into the size veggie wings that I like to have. Now, if you like a smaller veggie wing, you can break these smaller. If you want the veggie wings to be larger, you can do larger pieces, it's really up to you. Um, I'm gonna break them to the size that I like. So my taki mushrooms are my favorite for veggie wings and that's what I'm using here. However, you do have other options. Lion's mane and oyster mushrooms would both work really well for this recipe. Okay, so I got my mushrooms broken down into the pieces that I want. Now I gotta get my breading station ready. And what I have here are the ingredients I'm gonna use to bread the mushrooms. Now I'm starting with some arrowroot powder that I'm gonna add to some oat flour. <clears throat> and I'm gonna mix that up a bit. Okay, and now I'm gonna set that aside. And now I have some plant milk. Now I use walnuts to make my plant milk, but you can use any organic plant milk that you want. And I'm gonna take now and add some ground flax to my plant milk. And adding the ground flax it gives this milk a more um, kind of a silky, sticky kind of texture to it so that it bonds better to the mushrooms and makes the batter stick and really be nice. So I'm gonna do that and mix that a bit. Okay, and then I'm gonna get my breadcrumbs ready. Now I am using my homemade healthy vegan almond crumbs. I make this out of almonds. Now, if you wanna see the recipe for these almond crumbs, you can tap right here and it'll be there for you. Um, but you know, you could use another kind of crumb and this is my preference for, uh, for crumbs. Since I don't eat wheat, almond crumbs are something I like to make ahead of time, so I always have them on hand. Okay, so now for the fun part, right? Time to get my hands dirty. I'm gonna take my mushrooms, and the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna dip the mushroom into the plant milk, and then put it here, and then back in the plant milk, and then to my breadcrumbs and onto the tray. So we're going here, there, here, there. Here, there, here, there. Like a dance. Here, there, here, there. So this is the part of the process that takes a little bit of time. And I gotta tell you, when I first started making veggie wings, I would struggle a bit getting the crumbs to coat the wings nice and evenly. Notice that I'm using the same hand to dip it from the flour to the plant milk and back to the flour, but when I put it in the almond crumbs, I use my clean hand. This way the almond crumbs don't stick to my hand and I don't saturate the crumbs with a lot of liquid. And just like that, I got all my veggie wings breaded and ready for the oven. Let's get them going. Guys, so these wings are baked for about half the time that they need to. Now it's time to baste them. And I'm gonna use both of these sauces. I'm gonna do half of them with my sweet and spicy mango buffalo sauce and half of them with my cherry barbecue sauce. Let's get them basted now. Now for the fun part, saucing them up. I'm starting with my buffalo mango sauce. And there's not a lot of strategy to this part of the process. You just wanna make sure that you cover the entire mushroom. And me personally, I like to put my sauces on thick because the thicker you put them, the saucier and tastier the mushrooms are gonna be. I gotta be honest with you guys. Sometimes I get my hands messy on purpose. Mm. If you're enjoying this video, please like and subscribe below. All right, so I got half of my wings coated in my cherry sauce. I've got half my wings coated in my mango sauce. I feel a taste test coming on here, guys. Let's get them back in the oven. Here we go. So I've got them out of the oven and they look absolutely delicious. Uh, now I'm gonna get them plated up and uh, we're gonna give them a taste. And by we, I mean me. So I've had a lot of people write me and ask me how to find the recipes to the cook and show videos like the one you just watched. If you're having trouble finding the recipe, look below the video for the word more. Tap on the word more and you'll see the beginning of the recipe. Tap on the word more again and the full recipe will appear and then you can begin to make your own. Thanks for watching.